go again. Um, let's set Stereo Mix in Vista if we've got it. Here we go. To start with, right click our speaker icon and select Recording Devices. Up will come to Forwarding Devices and you will see I have Microphone, Line In, Auxiliary, SPDIF and What You Hear. What you hear and Stereo Mix are the same thing. What you hear is Creative, Stereo Mix are other cards. I've done this on several cards in Vista and that is, that is a fact of life. You can't change it. For the purpose of this video, Stereo Mix and what you hear are the same thing. Just that what you hear is Creative's version of Stereo Mix. Right. You can see that is set as my default device, but you won't, might not see this when you launch the application. You have to right click, show disabled and show disconnected devices. Show disabled, show disconnected. You can see that both sets enabled, and you hopefully you what you what you hear or stereo mix will appear. Once it appears, you highlight it there and set it as default. I can't set it as default at the moment. It's my default. If I get the microphone, I can set it as you can see. I can set that as default. But stereo mix or what you hear is set as my default device. So as you can see, I'm using the microphone and it's working. But I for the first video, I have to have it working, otherwise you won't hear me making the video. Oh, which, um, okay, that's that's fine. So we know it's okay, it's working. Oh, while we're on this tab, on the recording tab, you can go to the microphone tab there and click properties. And that will come a tab there which will say custom. On the custom tab, I've got do not monitor. If you have a mic boost, this is where it will be. I've tried this again on other cards. This is where the, the, the microphone boost will be. It is on the two other cards I've got. On this one, I don't have a mic boost. It's always on. And I've got a bit of a change on this one for something different, which I won't go into too much detail, but it's confusing. But that's where you actually will find your mic boost. This levels tab does absolutely nothing whatsoever. Up and down does nothing whatsoever. We don't need it. How do we get the level of the microphone, you say then? Simple. We go to playback. We go to speakers. We go to properties. There. We go to not custom, we can if you want, we go to levels. We go to levels, you can see our microphone volume is very high to make this video. Microphone down, microphone up. That's our microphone volume, it's quite loud on this side, it needs to be to make this video because I'm using Camtasia. And that's how we set a uh, stereo mix, echo what you hear, whatever you want to call it, as default device, enable it, and we adjust our microphone vo volume level to it's OK. Right, I've now moved on in the video and I've come to SingSnap, I've got through to the setup wizard, I've got to this stage here where it's actually detected my microphone and my meter's going up and down. We can see my microphone is going up and down and just to prove it is that one there. Back to, sorry, back to that tab there which you'll be able to see, see on that screen. Um, speakers, properties, levels there you can see the green bar going up and down in it now as I talk and I'll just keep talking and you can see the green bar gets less and less and less and less and less and less and more and more and more as I talk. Okay there's your mic volume, that's sorted, done, settled, no problem at all. We've got our mic volume working, now we need to set the music volume, <laughs> here comes the funny bit. Okay then, what we need to do is play a sound, aha, we can hear it, but how do we change the sound? What we have to do is right click on our speaker icon, right click on our speaker icon, sorry I just changed the video, and select Open Volume Mixer. And we can see Open Volume Mixer has a tab there called SingSnap. This tab only appears on the Volume Mixer when you're in SingSnap, either recording a tune or running the wizard. If you're not, actually I've got a web page loaded at the moment with the SingSnap in. Otherwise, you won't see this this volume here. Right, there it is. So we can go back to Sing Snap, and as you can see, we're back at Sing Sing Snap, and we pull that volume mixer up into the game again. And there's our volume mixer. That was right click on the speaker icon, open volume mixer. Now I'll play a shit sound now. You can see it's about that level. I bring that slider there down a lot quieter as you can see. Bring that right down there. Hardly works. So that one there, but my voice is exactly the same. That should be really loud. My voice is exactly the same. That's how you control the level of your music on this tab here. 
nothing on the sound card actually actually controls as what the how loud your music will be. It's all done on this tab here. And that's the way it works. And it works the same in Firefox and Internet Explorer. And as you can see, see it does work a treat. And you can also do this if you're doing a recording. You could, you could be a view better do it this way. Now also when you go back to play back a video in SingSnap, I suggest you'll you'll have the option to right click and open volume mixer and you'll have to turn this up, otherwise you think my recording sounds very quiet. Why is that? That's because you need to bring this up what you've recorded and that works if you take my point but don't forget to do it otherwise what you recorded might seem very quiet but, but that's how you do it anyway and it's a bit drawn out isn't it but you'll get used to it the more you fiddle with it okay we'll stop it there and see what, it, what this video is like bye bye for now